today. They're all just here, there and everywhere. Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. Welcome, oh look at my hat, brilliant look. Welcome back to a brand new video. And welcome to December, it's the season, it's Christmas season. Advent has begun and although I'm not gonna be doing daily Vlogmas this year, which I have kind of explained before, um, I've tried it, it's just not for me. I'm not gonna lie, it's too much of a stress and I don't get good enough content. I just then stress and worry about uploading constantly and trying to find that balance. I, don't, I honestly don't know how daily vloggers do it, whereby they can vlog, edit, upload, and repeat. <laughs> it's just too much for me. But anyway, I'm just gonna do my hair this morning. Picked up the camera because today I'm just gonna pop out I've not got my straighteners on. These are the straighteners, curlers. These are the curlers that I use, the GHD curve. And um, basically, I am gonna be popping out today to just get a bit of fresh air, stretch the legs. I thought I would do a bit of kind of charity shop thrifty. I know some of you guys here on my channel love that. Just thought I would take you guys around a few shops, see if we can get any Christmassy bits. Yeah, a little bit of out and about. I'm gonna show you some monthly favorites, as always with my kind of new monthly introduction vlog. Just gonna spend the day with you, essentially. Um, or you guys are gonna spend the day with me. So before we get started with today's vlog, I did want to firstly very kindly thank HelloFresh for sponsoring today's video. I've worked with HelloFresh numerous times. I'm sure you guys have heard me talk about it before, but if you haven't, and if you are new to the concept and haven't tried it before, then essentially it is a food subscription service that delivers meals straight to your door, all kind of organized and categorized into their individual meals. Oh, it's very windy outside, if you can hear that. It's just one of those fuss-free options that if you just want to eliminate one little stress in your life, then without having to do that big, huge weekly food shop, organizing all of the different foods, I tend to now just go out and about to shop like lunch bits or breakfast bits because HelloFresh just takes that stress away from you essentially. And it's also really good because we all know Tom's the chef in our household. However, on nights like last night, for instance, where Tom was getting home about half six, seven, I was able to get the food ready for him to walk through the door and the food will already be done. You know, you don't have to be an extra special chef. HelloFresh has the sheet in front of you with the corresponding number to the bag of food that you simply have all the ingredients lined out in front of you. You've got all the nutritional element, they've got lots of different categories, whether it be um, winter warmers, whether it be family favorites, or my personal favorite is the rapid 20 minute recipes because they're just so quick and easy. And then on the reverse of that paper, you've got with images, instructions and guidance on how to cook the meal. It is so convenient, so easy. Definitely something I would recommend if you are thinking about it, if you're on the fence, I do have an offer, which is one not to be missed. I will leave the offer on screen for you to um, check that out and in the description box below along with a link for you to shop through to HelloFresh but essentially you can get 50% off your first box, 35% off your next three and three free gifts. So yeah we had, um, what did we have last night? It was like a gorgeous lamb chickpea meal. I, I decided this week to go for something a bit different. I tend to gravitate towards the pasta option but this week i didn't order a single pasta recipe i decided to go for the um the one that we had last night which was delicious definitely one that i wouldn't have thought i'd have ever gone for or thought about and so much so that tom said if that comes up next week or future weeks get it because he really liked it as well so we had that last night tonight i'm thinking about doing one of the winter warmer recipes which looks a bit of me. It's like a cheesy ham pie dish, amazing. And then um, another one that we've got this week, which is again, a favorite of ours, one that we've had before. It's the pork and apple burgers with wedges. If you have a sweet tooth, I feel like it's a really good option to try. But anyway, I'll leave the link to HelloFresh along with the discount code in the description box below. Make sure to try it out. 
Let me know what you think. If you have any favourite recipes yourself, let me know and I will, um, yeah, bear them in mind when putting in my future Hello Fresh orders. It's just gone really dark outside and I'm slightly concerned that I'll be browsing the shops in the rain, which isn't gonna be ideal. So if I'm looking a little more bedraggled later on, even though I've curled my hair this morning, well then you know why. Quite a lot of um, charity, sh well in fact, pretty much all of the charity shops local to us as well are all dog friendly. So it's nice to be able to like have a little browse with Barney as well. And especially if it is raining, it's kind of one of those options that to do a dog walk, obviously we still give him a proper dog walk, but um, to like tire him out a little bit by getting him out and about, even just in shops where it's inside out of the rain. It's quite a nice thing to do and he always gets loads of attention, but yeah. He just turned two as well. He had his second birthday. Can you believe it? We've got a two-year-old puppy. I mean, I still call him a puppy and I probably will until he's an old grumpy man, but he's always gonna be my puppy. Right, I'm gonna carry on getting ready for the day and then I will see you guys at the shops. So first stop is Sue Ryder. There were loads of gorgeous kind of antique bits, this book that I loved, little decor pieces. You'll notice throughout this vlog section when I go out and about in the shops that I was gonna categorize it between different items, say like gift ideas, decorations, gift wrap and cards. But to be honest with you, I thought it would flow a bit better if I did shop by shop. So this is just an accumulation of different things that I thought for gift ideas, like this little photo frame you could buy from a charity shop, this microwavable neck wrap, which honestly would come in handy with me right now. I have been struck with the flu, or I say flu, like a cold. I think our household is just, feeling a bit run down, so excuse my voice if I sound a bit poorly, it's because I am. But anyway, um, lots of the shops I have noticed have a lot of, like this one for instance, a lot of new items, you know, like new stock with lots of it rather than donated items. Oxfam is definitely one of those shops that tends to have a lot of new stock like that and loads of amazing books. They actually had a full section on Christmas books. I thought this one, by the way, was brilliant. Fifty Shades Damper, it was like a um, parody book, which I just thought was so funny. I love that sustainable kitchen book as well. So yeah, lots of donated items, lots of random knickknacks here and there, but also lots of um, like new in stock as well. I loved this Santa mug, I thought with that matching kind of plate, or this one, if you're wanting a like gold rim, festive, classier version. They also had loads of Tonys as always with Oxfam, loads of coffees, Christmas blend coffees. And I have noticed that they seem to have a lot of donated items from brands. So Julian McDonald, there was quite a few things from Woodwick as well and Aroma Works. They were kind of priced from like 10 to 20 pounds. But if you're wanting to get a gift idea for someone, definitely check out your Christmas um, sections within your charity shops for donated items from brands because they pretty much are in the original packaging with labels. So yeah, well worth checking out and just doing your bit by giving to charity as well. Jasper Conran, again, another one with loads of these kind of donated books, diaries. There was this leather watch box as well, which would be a great idea for gift for him. And then there was also a huge uh, glassware section as well with this pretty snowflake design on. I also love to check out the puzzles section because I feel like you can get some great puzzles and jigsaws in charity shops. I'm not gonna lie, it's always in the back of my mind that you might find a jigsaw with a missing piece, but I am yet to do so. We are back home. I just, I put this jumper on him because it's so cold in this house, isn't it, Barney? Isn't it? It's so cold. Um, this is from Next. It is the cutest. And mummy has a matching jumper, doesn't she? Yes. I've not got it on right now, but I thought I'd give you a quick sneak peek before I go up and share with you. All well, the builders are just doing the front of the house. In fact, probably a good idea to put on some shoes in this section, although it's not too bad now, it's pretty clean. But I thought I'd give you a quick sneak peek as to how the house is currently looking. We have this view now from the front door all the way through here. To, can you see we've had the back doors installed so this is all open up now we can kind of get a feel for it obviously this all needs to be 
boxed up and sorted out that's potentially i don't know when that's going to get done to be honest but probably when we do the rip out of all of this corridor and into there the front room and the kitchen once we rip all that out as well but yeah as it stands this is how it's looking we've got a bit of a leaky situation here in the old downstairs loo with that tap so the plumber's coming out to fix that just means we have to empty that bucket every day which isn't ideal this is how it's looking with the doors in so we've obviously gone for these crystal style doors which i am in love with they're like a black aluminium i don't know i just think once the patio and everything's done the garden's cleaned up that outside shed won't be there anymore it'll be a outdoor kitchen in that corner it'll just be like these are kind of like a photo frame for the garden do you know what i mean i feel like that kind of sounds ridiculous but that's my vision i can see where i'm stood right now will be the island pantry there kitchen along this full run and i can just imagine we're gonna have a tv on that that wall in there and like a kind of like sofa area maybe some kind of a dining table along here or like a cabinet display cabinet type thing either of over that side or that side maybe a console on that side actually and yeah i can just see at the island just looking into the garden or watching tv <coughs> it's a bit dusty in here now that the doors are in it's feeling a lot more like my vision because when it is just a big open space it's very hard to visualize where everything's gonna go i've been to um, a couple of kitchen different different kitchen places to have drawings done for what kitchen we want i've got a couple of tweak tweaking to do and thinking to do um especially in terms of appliances but yeah i feel like the vision is slowly but surely coming to gather and i feel like into the new year we will have just such a gorgeous living space that i can't wait for so yeah i thought i'd give you that little update should you go back i keep saying should we go back inside we are inside it's like we are inside mum um i need to take that wash load out actually come on you go chill out in there i'm gonna show everybody what we bought today would you want to come upstairs with mummy it like he wants to come upstairs with mummy he's up right so i actually have a few bits that I also bought the other day. Hi, bed. Oh, you're so cute. Why are dogs just the best? So, I did pick up a couple of bits from Neptune the other day, and also I came back to a delivery from, I've already tried them on and I love them both, from Fairfax and Favour. I've got two new pairs of shoes, so I'll show you these first, actually. They did very kindly send me these, just for transparency. But I've had um, items from Fairfax and Favour before and the quality is just second to none. Really, really great. And everything's like all the attention to detail, like each shoe gets its own little shoe bag. These are, um, this first pair of, pair of trainers, they also gave me a spare pair of laces as well actually with those. Which I guess is pretty standard, isn't it, for trainers. But this is kind of like in celebration, in launch of a new colorway that they've kind of brought to their website in this plum and olive color so the first set of shoes i got are these gorgeous sneaker style trainers they're the same kind of shape to my veja trainers which i love wearing so as soon as i saw these with this colorway i was like i have to get them these are perfect for this time of the year that color for autumn and winter it's like just so rich Oh, I'm just obsessed. And then the little gold detailing as well just kind of elevates it. I got them in a size seven. I would say size up in Fairfax and Favour just because I found in the past as well with boots that I've ordered that um, I've had to return for bigger sizes because they, I think I've got in the past like a six and a half and it just didn't fit. So I'd say go up a full size, if not a bit, like I'm a six to a six and a half. I've got a seven in boots. I could even have gone for a seven and a half. I've got these in the olive color these boots just for like an alternative to a dog walking outfit where i want to just make it a little bit nicer for going for lunch afterwards or something and even just like as a winter boot because it's got this gorgeous like liner which is the coziest 
material, your feet just feel so snug in them. That's probably a, another reason why I'd say size up at least to full size in these ones, because of that thick liner. It's got the little Fairfax and Favour detailing on the front there. I'll leave both of these links below. They've got loads of really nice like handbags, great gifting options for Christmas as well. So yeah, I wanted to thank them and also just mention them to you guys if you wanted to check them out. Try out the new colorways, amazing. Okay, so Neptune, how the new color i'm obsessed with this color yeah neptune have got these new gift bags this new like forest green color i popped in with tom and barney when we went into nuts for the other day we always go to this farm shop called the lambing shed if you're local to it try it out amazing butchers so we always pick up like our meat if we're doing like a sunday dinner or something or even just like we went for breakfast that day like just to go for a nice little brunch and Neptune is right opposite it, basically. I mean, it's further down the street, but it's virtually right next to it. So they gave me um, a couple of their magazines, actually, magazines, like brochures. I actually think I've got both of these, but they were just in the bag anyway, and I thought, oh, I'll just take them. But this stories for some inspo. And then, because I was talking to her about kitchens, she said, try, um, have a look in this timeless timber kitchens for inspo, because, Neptune for me is very much an inspiration when it comes to our kitchen. We are working to a budget, so I feel like I want that look at a more affordable price. I realize it's not gonna be the exact same quality or premium finish as Neptune, but we're having a look around. At the minute we're looking at Howden's and DIY kitchens. They're the two that we're kind of in between. I'm swaying more towards DIY kitchens. Um, and they are a bit cheaper as well. And they do like an in-frame set. It's just that we're gonna have to reconfigure a few things in order to get that. But the in-frame styles, I think, look, yeah, they do. They look more like the Neptune ones. So anyway, I've got this to flick through with a coffee later on, which I'm very excited for. I'm gonna bookmark some pages, some favorites. Okay, then I saw this festive edition room spray that they've got in the scent Christmas Fair. This is one of my favorite scents anyway. Oh. Pine at Christmas, especially as we've not, we've not got a Christmas tree this year. You may have heard me talk about it in our renovation, latest renovation updates, but essentially, I mean, you're watching this the weekend of the first weekend of December. So probably from Monday, tomorrow, for you guys, is the day that we are booked in, if all goes to plan with the builders to rip out the entire rest of downstairs, the kitchen, the current kitchen and living space, the hallway, everything to be ripped out. So I'm, I'm still unsure on what we're doing with those old doors into the old conservatory yet, but the rest of it is getting demolished. So we don't have a Christmas tree this year. We're both going to spend time with our families over Christmas anyway, so it's, it doesn't really matter, but it is a little bit like painful in my heart. So anyway, my point being is that I can spritz this around the room and make it feel like, I can just close my eyes and feel like there's Christmas tree in the room. This one is 22 pounds, which is expensive, but I firmly believe that when you're buying home fragrances, that the dupe versions like Audi and stuff like that, they might give you the same look, they definitely don't give you the same smell. And then I've got, oh, I've got a couple of baubles. We can actually keep them, them in these, this Neptune canvas bag for next year. Um, but I love the greens, as you guys know. Um, so I picked up two of their green baubles. They're kind of like, I wanna say matching, they're not. Well, they kind of, yeah, they, they go together. One's obviously much larger and shinier, and the, the smaller ones are much more kind of aged finish. They are both on these classic velvet kind of dark grey ribbons that um, Neptune do for all of their baubles. So I've got some glass ones as well last year in the sale from Neptune, which again, I've not been able to get out this year because we've only got one little branch tree and mini Christmas tree in the bedroom. So obviously there's only so many baubles and stuff you can put on them. Plenty for next year. And next year we're going bigger and better because we'll probably have two trees as well. We'll get a real one as well. I also popped into Asda. They've got their festive Merry Christmas magazines, which I um, picked up. They're just free at checkout, but they've got um, loads of different recipe options. And then they all, it also came with this 
the best Christmas guide ever by Asda with food, drinks, party, gifts, and also homeware as well in here. Um, and like pajamas and stuff. So yeah, I just thought I'd grab that to have a quick flick through whilst I have a look through my Neptune Kitchens catalog as well. And then whilst I was in Asda, I went to pick up some of the wax melts that they do, which in my opinion are the best wax melts I have ever tried. They didn't have any of my favorite, the Cuddle Up, but I do already have some of those. I went in for the Sugar Pine. Whoa. They are on offer three for five pounds. So I picked up two of the Sugar Pine and then I also saw this one, which I thought I would try, Enchanted Woods. I think of the two, oh, it is good though. There's just something about these wax melts that are just, they're not sickly that, well, mind you, they do have some sweet scents that are a bit more sickly. They just, they're strong, but they're not like potent or too overpowering. And they just have a really nice smell about them. So anyway, I was talking about home fragrance needing to go luxury such a hypocrite aren't I anyway finally on to the charity shop finds now okay so for the aesthetic think neutral kind of country styling for not just Christmas but winter as well so I saw this book this is part of the vintage edition for the Julian Barnes Arthur and George I'm pretty sure I've seen these in TK Maxx they retail for $7.99 so they're not expensive so obviously you can pick them up for um for full price and still get a bargain but 50p is it just me or rarely do you find items for 50p now or for anything less than a pound in charity shops so to see a p i was like yeah that's coming home with me and then i also got these these are originally george at home they're in their original packaging at three pounds they are scented linen hearts now regardless of the fact that they are scented i thought these would be a lovely um, home decor piece again any kind of seasonal time you could get these back out in spring have them obviously at Christmas as well and with them being scented I mean let's see if they actually still are scented but you can always spritz them with the like fabric sprays where did I see some recently was it Zara home yeah they don't smell anymore thought these would be the sort of thing that you'd find on those gorgeous like independent interiors homeware shops I just follow so many on Instagram. Like Karis and James now have on Whitaker House, which looks lovely. Those kind of shops, olive and wood interiors, I just, there's so many, but those are the sort of things that I'd imagine finding on there. And yeah, three quid. Same with this one as well, actually. I imagine this is the sort of thing that you'd maybe see on a, like an interior shop like that as well. Just this little two set of wooden reindeers. They're like a white wash as well. So they're not too, although they're wooden, they're not too like orangey wooden just really nice this one was £1.50 and this one was £3 what else did I get oh I found some white company bits for a friend I've got this book for their baby oh wishing for a white Christmas written by Barbara Horsepool illustrated by Catherine Rutherford exclusive to the little white company so this book was £2.49 and it is just a gorgeous little book for Christmas oh love it how do you guys feel about gifting charity shop items though there is something in me that I'm like oh it depends on who I'm buying for because I think I think certain people would love it and I do think others might be a bit like oh a charity shop item I mean I wouldn't care I'd, I'd obviously appreciate it and obviously you're doing a bit for charity as well but how do you feel about gifting an item if it's from a charity shop because they're never pristine are they they're not in their original packaging like there are a couple of little marks on this but yeah let me know your thoughts on that also i've got this for christmas day can you hear the builders drilling i got this for christmas day this is i found this it's from the white company and it's called dinner party trivia with three different um categories of wine food and culture i don't want them to fall out but can you see there's just loads of different cards with all the different trivia questions like for instance let's go with one let's do one of each let's start with food name all four herbs listed in the english folk song scarborough fair popularized by simon and garfunkel parsley sage rosemary and thyme did you get it let's do wine for what does NV stand for on a bottle of champagne? 
non-vintage and then culture which artist and architect closely associated with barcelona designed park guau which we've actually been to so it is antonio gaudi these are quite good to just i think anyway we'll just scatter them amongst the table so rather than have like a dedicated game of this it's just as it says dinner dinner party trivia so yeah i got that that was Four pounds. Saw this, which again I've actually bought for a gift for somebody, and it's this little canvas bag, which inside it has a set of two. It's called the Natural and Holistic Ritual Kit. Pure Thoughts. It's got written on the front. It was two pounds, and inside there are um, two sets of those like sage sticks, which obviously you can light and I don't know. Oh god, they smell so good. It's meant to be good for like meditation, yoga, cleansing a space. There's a little like instruction thing in there. Yeah, I got that as a gift for someone. And then um, I also got this. This was four pounds. Comes in this little gift box as well from Le Classique, it says. And it is a little set of um, paper but like it's it looks like a recycled kind of paper it's got the jute ribbon on you've got the two sets of envelopes and then underneath the full size a4 paper that you can just like handwrite letters or notes you know if you just want to do a nice note or nice letter to someone and um, to have it in like a little stationery kit like that i thought was lovely i do love a stationery purchase <laughs> i feel like even in school i was a stationery lover as well um, okay, this one is from Oxfam. They've got loads of these. They're like a, one of their new in items at £3.49. So it's basically a bag of spices and stuff. It's got sugar, cinnamon, clove, and all spice that you can just heat up some apple juice or cider on the hob and sprinkle this in and just kind of let it marinate. And well, you, you don't marinate a liquid, but you know what I mean. Just let it absorb all the spices it makes your house smell amazing as well if you just got it simmering on the hob they had a mold wine version as well that you can pop in either mold wine or again they said you could do um apple juice then i did pick up a glass now they actually had loads of these in our oxfam i just picked up the one as just like a standalone because it is festive standalone item that you could get out just for yourself for a nice either warm hot apple spiced apple or um like an iced coffee or something at christmas but the little stars on it i just loved that design there's no like original um branding or anything so i've no idea where these came from and honestly had we've got the house done and everything in its place especially with the kitchen and storage and everything like that i probably would have been tempted to get a set of these for oh, I'm getting regret for not getting a set now for future years for when we host Christmas to be able to have these either on like a Christ Christmas breakfast table with orange juice water for whilst you're drinking whilst you're having your main Christmas meal could have got the champagne flutes as well oh am I regretting not getting the full set yeah my camera just overheated probably because it's sat in a microwave microwave radiator <laughs> this one's still asleep fast asleep there i've got a couple of bits left to share with you this is from well this is the original one should i shut that door it's a bit loud anyway i got this it was 5.99 and it's a box and it's a set of glass chess pieces so there's no chess board so it's a bit like hmm what do i do here do I buy a chessboard, which I'm sure you can buy a chessboard without the chess pieces, or even if you bought like a more affordable chessboard and just got rid of the other chess pieces and used the glass ones. Because there's just something about these glass pieces that I just thought were lovely. Oh gosh, let me just show you a couple. So you've got the frosted one, and then in contrast, your opposition will play with the clear one. And yeah, it's obviously, it's a full set of chess pieces, just like that. I mean, I say it's a full set. I don't know how to play chess. Tom does though, he's tried teaching me. I remember when we went to Marrakesh, we oh, stayed in a beautiful rehab. I hadn't started YouTube by that point. I'd started just, just after it, I wanna say. And I always, it's one of those things, I always think, oh, I wish we'd had a vlog from that trip. That's one of the benefits to vlogging 
even in the moment if you're not really feeling it to be able to look back on the memories is so nice but yeah that was probably my favorite holiday i've ever done with tom i just got so many i've got so many memories from it i learned so much it was a real cultural kind of out of my comfort zone experience but i loved it we stayed right in the heart of marrakesh souk in like a little rehab rehab is that what they're called um and yeah, they had this like really cozy evening area where you could go sit by the fire. They bring you hot chocolate and there was a really nice chessboard there. And I remember Tom trying to teach me. Didn't go in. Went in one ear and out the other because I still don't know how to play it. But we've got our own chess set. We can always play that in future and he can teach me. Last but not least, I got myself a jigsaw puzzle. I feel like charity shops are the best place to go for jigsaw puzzles. This is all sealed up though, so it's never been used. It was only 2 dollars and it's called, it's from Studio Puzzle, Bits and Pieces Puzzle. It's a 500 piece, which I feel like is a nice doable amount. When you get to a thousand, plus 2000 3000 they're the sort of puzzles that take you the like a couple of weeks like going to and from it whereas this one 500 piece i feel like is more manageable and it's such a gorgeous christmas scene with this family like picking up their christmas tree putting it in the back of the car like a vintage kind of style tree farm with the fairy lights i just think that's gorgeous and that's everything that i got from the shops anyway i'm gonna go grab a bite to eat because my tummy is rumbling hi can i have a deluxe hot chocolate please uh were you out of hot chocolate um okay uh can i just get some chicken nuggets just the smallest box you do and just a bottle of water please that's it, thank you. Thanks. Oh, they're out of hot chocolates. <gasps> got it. I was going to get a deluxe hot chocolate. They've got caramel waffle coffee, which sounds good, but I've had one of those already. And also, it's afternoon and it's not decaf. Thank you. I've got, um, I've got Barney some chicken nuggets as well. Straight in. Because it was his birthday, you know. You get your green. Uh, yes, thank you. And we're off. Let's go back home, buddy. Very naughty, but very welcome. Also, just sat in the car because I'm waiting for some Domino's cookies. It's a bit hot. I'm not getting a hot chocolate. So I'm going to get some Domino's cookies instead. They're just cooking now. Just waiting for them because it's so blustery outside as well and like wet and drizzly i feel like i'm gonna have a nice treat of a hot bath tonight i'm even like in my gilet like it's freezing inside that house <laughs> especially downstairs with it all being open now so i've like kept all the bedroom doors shut with the radiators on in them but then yeah and the basement's lovely and warm but the ground floor <sighs> well there's no heating there's zero heating on the ground floor and we haven't had heating on the ground floor since May or something like that. So it's been fine over summer, obviously. Now it's getting cold. A hot bath is very welcome tonight. In my cozy dressing gown, this actually needs a wash, this dressing gown. I've just popped it on post dog walk. I ended up, yeah, I ended up en route back um, from my unsuccessful trip of getting a nice hot chocolate. I, which actually would have been lovely on my walk. I hit stopped via the field that I walk Barney and you know, like dog owners can relate to this, I'm sure, especially like active dogs that need a good play around. When your dog finds a dog to play with and you end up chatting to the owner, you end up just like, well, at least around here we're doing, we'll just stick with the dog owners and just stick with chatting to them. Um, so I ended up being out a lot longer than I thought and it's getting dark already outside. So I'm going to get into a nice hot bath. My clothes, it's also the time of the year, caked in mud. Barney was full of mud as well. So I washed him down in the dog wash station in the basement. So he's wrapped up in his towel now just drying off and I thought I would show you some of my I'm going to loosely say monthly favorites because some of these items I've just started using but been loving let me show you exactly what I mean by this first one from philosophy oh my gosh this shower gel cinnamon buns in 
incredible. It's, it is sweet. I'm not going to lie. It's the sort of, oh, it's the sort of fragranced body shower or, um, body shower, body wash that I feel like is only valid at this time of the year because it is very, very sweet. But cinnamon buns scented shower gel I thought I would mention just for the cozy season this would be good in my bath tonight but I have another one which I really want to try so I thought I would mention this in my monthly favorites even though I've only used it maybe five times a couple of other beauty items that I've been loving for my skincare for my face I've been using these two products again more so this one more recently but so far so good and it's from CeraVe I've heard great things about CeraVe so this is their blemish control cleanser which I have shown you guys already before but this one is for blemish prone skin and I've noticed my skin drying out which I guess because I've got an oily t-zone is a good thing because it prevents spots in that area but then it does make my skin um a little bit drier I guess I have oily combination skin really so it really does work the fact that it's been drying out my t-zone it just means that I put on extra moisturizer lather it on and next up i think i'm gonna try the normal i think they've got normal to combination which i'd be intrigued to try but yeah this new formula that they've got is really really good kind of want to get the matching moisturizer to go with it actually and then this is a find that i got from last month's glossy box i've been using this month or i've been using in november and it's from nip and fab it's called the purify well it's from the purify range and it's a salicylic yeah, salicylic fix facial scrub. So I use this more like three times a week, really, just for, well, two, three times a week. Basically, whenever it's hair wash day in the shower, I'll use this one. This one is more of a, an everyday that I've been using, but I have been really enjoying it. And this formula is like a really fine, gritty exfoliant. I don't like exfoliators that have real thick, chunky beads. I like a really fine grit and that, is really fab for that and then the last of the beauty items i have to share with you is from pixie it's the botanical collagen eye cream hydrating eye serum lightweight and quick absorbing yeah it's very quick absorbing this rich serum helps hydrate and brighten preserving youthful looking skin apply around eye area use daily so i use this in an evening and pre like moisturize once i've cleansed toned um, just dab this on all around my eyelids and everything and I've been really loving it I, th I think it's the fact that it's the fast absorbing because if my skin is left feeling really like sticky and like I've got thick product on it that's why I don't tend to like night creams that much then it just doesn't feel nice to me I like ones that just absorb straight into your skin so that I have been loving I'll leave all of these items linked below if you want to check anything out and then for some home products it's my second one now been loving using the news of flora this one is exclusive to b&m though so you have to find b&m near you to get this one vanilla and amber it's got festive notes of orange and clove and it smells lovely it's a bit less festive than the normal ones like cranberry and orange winter spice so if you're wanting a real festive one i'd go for that if you're wanting a nice in-betweeny one this has been lovely. This is really random, it's all out now, I've finished it. But I thought I would mention it anyway because I've heard mixed reviews about this. However, I really got on with it. I really enjoyed using it. It's from Airwick, it's one of these plug-in air fresheners and it's from the Stacey Solomon range in Winter Walks. I have this, or had this before it ran out, in the corridor which is all very much open and as I was coming upstairs every single time, I could smell this. I did have it on the maximum output but i'll definitely be repurchasing the refills of that because i thought it really really worked in terms of home fragrance as well i've been burning this candle i wanted to mention this i'm going to pop it in the bathroom and light it in a second but i thought i would mention it to you guys not only for the smell and everything it's from glossier by the way it's called the you candle it's a new one you know based off their fragrance that they do they do a perfume called you i actually really like the red packaging especially for the festive season because you'll see when i have my bath that it kind of gives off like a red glow and it's like very moody and if you've got the lights off it's very nice 
I love that. And then last but not least, in terms of things to show you, I have these from M&S, a little food item now. I've bought, I bought the gingerbread biscuits from M&S, these little gingerbread men biscuits, in their, like just a standard red packet and demolished them. I loved them so much that when I saw that they had them in the festive tin, which is like a musical tin, um, I decided to pick another load up. I'm not going to do it because it'll probably play musical, probably won't stop playing music. You just wind it up and it's a little musical tin that we can bring out year in, year out. I also wanted to show you this blanket, which I've got on our bed. Let me just show you. This blanket is only from Tesco's. It's from the Mrs. Hinch range. And it's like a faux mohair. It's huge as well. It fits a super king, king size bed, which is amazing. It just is so soft and luxurious feeling. It feels way more expensive than Tesco's. I've also been loving these. I've just seen these by my bed. I mean, once you've worn them a couple of times, you don't really want to show zippers, although these are still in fairly good condition. They've been ideal with doing the renovation downstairs. I've had a pair of slippers upstairs that don't get dirty on the bottom because I don't want to obviously traipse the dirt up here and the dust and everything. So me and Tom, we both have our upstairs slippers now and our current downstairs slippers, i.e. the ones that are a bit more trashed. Just trying to think if there's anything else worthy of mentioning that we've maybe enjoyed watching on TV. Um, we watched The Watcher on Netflix, which was really good. Obviously, I'm a celebrity. I'm always sad when that finishes because I feel like, I don't know, it's for me, the excitement and lead up to Christmas is almost better than Christmas, I think. And I always feel like, I'm a celebrity. I feel like I'm cut off there. I always feel like I'm a celebrity is a good, well, it starts with Bake Off and then I'm a celebrity. It's kind of like the lead up to Christmas. So once that's over, I'm really, really sad. But yeah, obviously been loving I'm a celebrity. I don't know. I don't think there's anything worthy of mentioning. Maybe let me know some of your favorites if you found any good new Netflix series or films. I might watch the um, Lindsay Lohan falling for Christmas tonight <laughs> whilst I'm making dinner. I feel like, has anyone seen it? I feel like it's gonna be one of those cheesy American Christmassy films that you maybe watch once. It's not gonna be a classic, but it's just an easy watch. So yeah, I think that's my evening, evening plans for tonight. But first, bath time. <laughs> It is that time of the evening. I have just cleansed my face, just using a missile of water, and then I'm gonna use the CeraVe cleanser in the bath. But yeah, it's just that time of day where I'm just gonna relax, unwind, maybe pop some YouTube on, and I'm just popping this through my scalp. This is, I've talked about this before actually, it's a really good product from Way. It's called this Scalp Serum. You can put this on freshly clean, washed hair. It doesn't have to be like, well, in fact, if anything, you don't put it on when you're about to wash your hair. Like, so I never wash my hair in the bath. I tend to just um, wash it when I have a shower. So I'm popping this in my scalp, just massaging it in and running it through. And then it just essentially dries. So although it looks wet and greasy now, it doesn't, it just dries nicely. And um, yeah, it's a great hydrating serum for the scalp. So yeah, I'm just rubbing this in, kind of giving myself a bit of a head massage as well. Might pop on a face mask. Oh, and I do have some new products from the body shop, which I'm gonna try out. Wild Pine, and then the Spiced Orange Bath Bomb. Bath Bomb. It's like the eucalyptus and mint. Oh, it's lovely. It smells really, really fresh. I was a bit dubious of wild pine as like a beauty product, but yeah, really like it. Rest of the evening after my bath is just going to be relaxed. I've got my PJs warming up on the radiator in the bedroom right now. So PJs on, dressing gown on, cozy slippers, getting nice and comfy and cozy. I'm going to do the um, HelloFresh pie recipe tonight. Again, just another reminder for HelloFresh to make sure to take advantage of my offer, my discount code, which is such 
a great offer. I'll leave it on screen as well as in the description box where you can try out HelloFresh yourself today. Right, bath time. And I can't tell you how excited I am for this right now. I'm so tired. <laughs> 